Item number SCP-3027, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3027-1 is to be kept in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-19. It is not to have any contact with Junior Researcher Green, nor may Junior Researcher Green be made aware of any information regarding SCP-3027. To prevent this from occurring, she has been reassigned to Professional Site Beep. SCP-3027-2 is to be stored in the high security archives of Site-19. Access to SCP-3027-2 is permitted for research personnel of clearance level 3 or higher, but no personnel regardless of clearance level may attempt to memorize or internalize its content. Similarly, the information in this document is to be considered eyes only and may not be copied or memorized. Despite SCP 3027-1's misuse of SCP 3022, no disciplinary action is to be taken, pursuant to a vote by the Ethics Committee, citing SCP 3027-1's foundation and line intentions and its violations of regulations. Description SCP-3027 is a spoken and written language, which, according to SCP-3027-1, also has a standard signed form brought to the Foundation's attention by an alternate version of Junior Researcher Green. Hereafter designated SCP-3027-1. SCP-3027-1 intentionally used SCP-3022 without authorization to enter our reality from a parallel reality, designated PR-3027 Babel, in order to preserve knowledge of SCP-3027 and study it in a controlled environment. Unlike this reality's version of Junior Researcher Green, who is a monolingual English speaker, SCP-3027-1 is fluent in both English and SCP-3027. Much of the Foundation's information concerning SCP-3027 was provided by SCP-3027-1. SCP-3027-2 is a copy of complete grammar and dictionary of BEEP for English speakers, published by Oxford University Press in 1950 in PR-3027 Babel. Brought to this reality by SCP-3027-1, the number of pages within, as well as the content of those pages, have been observed to vary while SCP-3027 is being spoken or written by SCP-3027-1. SCP-3027 itself is believed to have originated in the Northern Italian Peninsula in PR-3027 Babel. In all other known realities, it was supplanted by Indo-European languages many centuries ago. Based on information provided by SCP-3027-1 and a short interview with SCP-3027 itself, it seems that SCP-3027 is sentient and perhaps sapient. In general, it is known not to be hostile to humans, however, it is extremely territorial viewing its territory as the entire domain of human communication. SCP-3027 is capable of exerting its will by changing the meaning of words and morphemes in its lexicon at a presumably unlimited speed in the minds of any or all of its speakers. In this way, it manipulates human communication and indirectly plants ideas in the minds of its speakers to serve its own purposes. Interview Log 3027A Interviewer Dr. Ackerson, a senior researcher at Psychbeep. Subject SCP 3027-1, a version of Junior Researcher Green from PR 3027 Babel. Extraneous and conversational data has been redacted. Begin interview log. But how can a language, even an anonymous one, attack another language? Don't they only exist as media of communication? It doesn't attack other languages per se. It manipulates its speakers into doing its bidding. 
manipulate, like controlling you. Oh no, not like that. It deceives them, us, I suppose. Sorry, what number do you give this language? I'd rather not say its name. 3027. Right. One person. Let's say it's a political leader where SCP-3027 is spoken. Gives a rousing speech about something, right? Right. It doesn't even matter what that person says. SCP-3027 changes its meaning for a little bit, and everyone in the crowd hears something like the Indo-Europeans are invading our homeland, and we have to drive them out, and it's a really great convincing speech. So they go to war, and win. And win, and they conquer some territory, force their subjects to speak their language. I see. It's close to achieving its goal in my world. It's taken centuries, but it finally got enough momentum to leave redacted. Starting in the 19th century or so, now it's gotten a lot of people just mad enough for that last genocidal push before it moves human language. Sorry? Enough momentum to leave where? It's homeland, somewhere in the south of Europe. It might have a different name in your reality. Do you call it Europe in your reality? We do. End interview log. Interview log, 3027B. Interviewer, Dr. Beep, Head of Foundation Linguistics. Subject, SCP-3027-1. Extraneous data redacted. Begin interview log. I'm serious when I say it should be reclassified as Keter. I disagree. It doesn't pose much of a containment risk if you don't speak it. But it manipulates human thought. It shapes centuries of my world's history, and there's nothing we can do to stop it if it gets out. Exactly, if it gets out. There's no question that it would be dangerous, but seeing as you're the only speaker here, and you're cooperating, it's staying Euclid. That's right. Sorry, but I'm not passing your request along. Now, is there something else I can help you with? No. You know? Back home, I had your job. End interview log. Document 3027 Aleph. Proposed interview procedures. As the only living speaker of SCP-3027 in this reality, I propose that I aid Dr. Eckerson in interviewing it, as it may provide some valuable information regarding its origins and intentions. The foundation in my reality, PR. 3027 Babel interviewed it using procedures which I have slightly modified for our purposes. My procedures are as follows. Dr. Ackerson asks a question for SCP-3027 and I translate it, then record myself asking the question in the language. I then play back the recording and translate it back into English. Due to SCP-3027's anomalous lexical shifts, this back translation will serve as an answer to the question. If at any time I feel that we are threatened, I will be able to end the interview by simply refraining from speaking SCP-3027. Submitted for review by SCP-3027-1, formerly Dr. Green, Head of Foundation Linguistics. Proposal approved by Dr. Beep. Interview Log 3027-C Interviewer Dr. Ackerson, with SCP-3027-1 interpreting. Subject, SCP-3027. Any content spoken in SCP-3027 has been redacted due to its potentially info-hazardous nature. Begin interview log. Does this work? Can you answer my questions? Are you stupid? Can you give me some statements? What do you want to do to humans? I'll give you two statements to answer with. This is the second statement I'll provide. Why do you think I care about humans? You took away my rightful home. Now your purpose is as my tool. My purpose, your speaker's job, is to contain you. I know you have killed people just to destroy their languages. I have reason to believe you are hostile, are you? Your purpose, your species history, has destroyed all I love. Your languages have killed all my siblings. 
I've reason to believe other speakers are hostile. Are you? This is me speaking English now. I think we should stop here. I don't much like the thought of letting it manipulate my perception like this. Agreed, this has got to be the weirdest interview I've ever conducted. End interview log. Note, research is ongoing into the possibility that SCP-3027 is not a language isolate.